Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a testimonial section using Wix CMS. So, in my Wix Studio website right here, I have a testimonial section that's custom made. So, I just have a stack that is vertical with the stars, the testimonial, and then I have a stack here that's horizontal with an image and a name. And then these are horizontal stacks with these buttons. But as you can see right now, these buttons don't do anything when they're clicked because they're not tied to CMS yet. So we're going to tie these all to CMS and we're going to create this uh, section and I'll show you how to do it. So in here in CMS we're going to go to a collection and we're going to create a new collection and we're going to call it testimonials. So testimonials and then there's going to be a couple simple fields so we'll have the name so we'll change this to name then we'll have the testimonial and then we'll have the image so I'm just using text fields for these first two I don't need anything too crazy and we'll go with an image field upload a single image Okay, so this is my collection and I have some testimonials here. So I'm going to copy these over into the Wix uh, CMS. So here's the testimonial, here's the name and the image. Let's add an image here for this first one. I'm just gonna use Wix's free images. I'm just gonna type in headshot. I'm gonna click the first one that I see. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to add a few other items here. So I'm going to add another testimonial, one of the shorter ones, and I could also upload this into here, but I'm just going to add a couple because I only want three. So I'll add this one as well. Oh, wrong field. Okay. So now we just need to add images for these two and we'll just do Wix again. And let's go with this image here and this image. One more time. Okay, so I've got my images, I've got my testimonials. So now what I need to do is I need to connect these to data. So I'm gonna go into this field here and I've got this data connector here. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna choose my data set, which is a new one that I need to add because I just created this testimonials. I'm gonna call this testimonials data set homepage. And then I'll click create. Okay. And so this is the testimonial itself. So I'm going to select testimonial and you can see that already auto um, updated. Then I'm gonna select the name as name and then the image as the image I want. Okay, so we have our testimonial name and image and those are the dynamic fields in this section. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add these buttons. And so the, the link connects to the next item. So this is going to forward us to the next item. And then let's see, we'll try this. And then this will send us to the previous item. Oh, I know why it's saying that because that's the last item in our list. Okay, so now we're gonna preview this and if I click this button, it's going to now work and send us to the next item. So I've got the first review, second review, and the third review. And then we can also get this optimized for mobile. So it's not perfect, but it should work in a similar fashion. It's actually not bad, so we could also um, edit this a little bit, but it's not bad right now. Okay, 
So going back to the desktop version, another cool thing I can do with the CMS is I can make it so only certain testimonials are featured on the home page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this Boon Lean field, and I'm going to say featured, and then I'm going to add this help text. So if checked, this testimony will show up on the home page. So let's say I have more than three testimonials. Let's say I have these all eight or nine of these and they're in my CMS. I'm just going to add one more. And if I've got these in here, then I can feature some and I can keep some for different pages. So I'm just going to add an image real quick. We'll do headshot again. Sure, we'll put this as the headshot. Okay, so right now we have four testimonials, and let's say we want these first three to show up on the home page. So I'm going to mark these as featured, and then you know what? I'm going to actually do this one here, so we can see it in action. Okay, so I've got them marked as featured. So now what I need to do in order for this to work is I need to go to the data set settings, and I need to add a filter. And I'm going to go to that Boon Lean field, which is featured. And then is, I'm going to say true. I could also say is not true. I'm going to say it is true. And so now when I go through this, there should only be three testimonials here. And the Sean one should be hidden. And we can see that's exactly how it's functioning. So if I go back to this, I can change these up at will. I can. Um, only make two featured, for example. And now there'll only be two testimonials here. So this is really cool because what you can do is if you have your whole testimonial set, let's say that you had 20 testimonials, but you only want to feature three to five on the home page, you just go in here and mark them and then they can be featured there. Um, and then what you could also do is you could add a view all button. You could add a button below here to your section if you wanted to. And you could say something like view all. And if you had the page set up with all the testimonials, which I would recommend, you would do that as a dynamic page. So you can add a dynamic page in here with all the testimonials. This click action could be tied to view all. So that's one way that you can do a custom testimonial section. I think it's really awesome that you can use Wix CMS. It'll save you a ton of time because then once you manage these in here, in your collections, you can use these testimonials on the home page, on any other page. You can use them as their own page with all the testimonials. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do, um, but I just love how easy it is to take these images, these vector images, and link them to the next item or to the previous item. So that's a really cool thing you can do as well. So I hope you found I hope you guys found this video helpful and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.